When I think about some of the coolest weapons in all of Terraria, this one comes to mind. Galaxia is a post-Moon Lord melee weapon that is an upgraded version of the true Biome Blade. It is a very unique weapon as it has four separate attack modes. If you right-click, you will be able to cycle between the four modes, with the cursor's position relative to the player determining in what direction the attunements should be cycled through. The first selectable mode is Phoenix's Pride. When selected, the player will spin Galaxia around themselves, with the sword increasing in speed, size, and damage as it's spun up. The second mode is Ares Wrath. When used, Galaxia will be thrown to the player's cursor position and follow it around while spinning on itself. The third mode is Polaris's Gaze. When used, the sword will be held out in front of the player, with a bright glowing star materializing on the sword's guard and three concentric rings of stars appearing one by one around the blade. Hitting enemies with the blades charges them up, which increases their size, damage, and hit frequency. The final mode is Andromeda's Stride. When used, the player will hold the blade out in front of them, charging it up slowly, releasing the attack button after having the charge up more than 25% of the way, will let the player do a quick lunge in the direction of their cursor with the speed and damage of the lunge varying based on the charge of the sword. With a fully charged up lunge, dealing 450% of the weapon's base damage. Galaxia also has another unique mechanic though, giving one of two passive blessings depending on the mode Galaxia is in. Its passive effect is indicated by the color of Galaxia's fiery blade. With the Cancer's blessing being granted when it appears with crimson hues, and the Capricorn's Blessing being granted when it uses cooler blue tones. For every eight seconds you use the sword, you will spawn one of these passive blessings. The Capricorn's Blessing passive makes a harmless ring of purple stars appear around the player's cursor. With the ring moving away from the player before coming to a stop and inflicting the Armor Crunch debuff onto enemies for 3.33 seconds. The Cancer's Blessing passive makes a ring of red stars appear around the player, with the ring following the player closely before stopping. The ring inflicts 3,000 damage and has a 40% chance to heal the player for 3 health on every hit. This weapon does great damage to bosses, but is fantastic for dealing with large groups of enemies. Phoenix's Pride is the best mode to use because of its ease of use. The other modes are less practical, but more fun to use. This weapon is great for dealing with bosses too, though. I find that the best mode to use is Phoenix's Pride because it is the easiest to use. But what do you guys think about this weapon? Have you used it before to defeat Yarn in a playthrough? Let me know in the comments below. See you guys later.